shocking news we're getting out of Turkey because the Prime Minister, Ben Ali Yildirim, has reportedly said that a group within the military has engaged in an attempted coup. That is being reported by the Reuters news agency. We do know that earlier there were reports that military jets and helicopters were flying low over the capital Ankara and that the two bridges crossing the Bosphorus River in Istanbul have been closed or at least partially closed by the army. There's also multiple reports of uh, tanks on the streets. Let's get more on this breaking news now with Al Jazeera Zeyna Hodder. She joins us from the Turkish city of Gaziantep. Zeyna, it's a, a confusing picture at the moment, but from what the Prime Minister has been telling Turkish television, one part of the military appears to have, to have tried or be trying to carry out some sort of a coup. Well, yes, a very confusing picture, but just in the past few minutes, the Turkish Prime Minister in a statement said that a military coup attempt is underway in Turkey. He is blaming a group of generals, a part of the military, but at the same time, he is saying that they will be punished, reassuring the public that they will do whatever is necessary and democracy is not under threat. In the past hour, there have been uh, reports of uh, Turkish tanks, armored vehicles on the streets of Turkey's main cities, Ankara, Istanbul. There were reports and of uh, jets flying low over the capital, the Turkish capital, Ankara. Um, a stepped-up military presence in Istanbul, unusual activity really in these main cities. The bridges over the Bosphorus have been blocked by soldiers. It's been shut to traffic. Uh, uh, it, Turkish uh, people were on the social media asking questions, a very confusing picture on what is going on. But now we've heard from the Turkish prime minister a military coup attempt is underway in Turkey, but he is confident that they will be able to overcome this. Now, Turkey has had a history of military coups in the past. The last time was in 1997. But uh, since then, um, it, there has been uh, stability. But at the same time, Turkey as a country has been passing through very difficult times of uh, political divisions, political instabilities. It has been facing uh, a number of attacks. It is at war with ISIL. It is at war with the outlawed Kurdistan uh, Workers' Party. So very difficult times for Turkey. And now the Turkish prime minister confirming that um, a military coup is underway by a group of generals. It's interesting, Zaina. I think it was back in April, in fact, that there was some sort of uh, suspicion, accusations that perhaps members of the military were planning some sort of coup, so much so that members of the military came out and denied that those were the plans. So there have been rumours about this before. Undoubtedly, reports, rumours, speculation for some time now that there would be a coup in Turkey. But like you mentioned, in April, Turkey's military leaders came out and denied this. But we do know that political tensions have been building in Turkey for some time now. Uh, clashes are on the rise in the southeast of the country. The southeast of the country has been an urban battleground for months now. And those clashes have been rising between uh, the Turkish security forces and the outlawed Kurdish and Workers' Party, the PKK. The economy has, uh, and the tourism sector has suffered by the series of bombings that have rocked uh, a number of cities on multiple occasions, almost monthly bombings, really, over the past few months uh, affecting tourism. The last attack was in uh, Ataturk uh, Airport. So uh, political tensions, uh, security instability, and now the prime minister coming out and, and actually acknowledging that some members of the military are staging a coup. And we do know that um, the AK Party, the ruling party, the party of the president, Erdogan, they've been in power now for 13 years, since 2002. And since then, Erdogan, in one way or the other, has pacified the military, kept the military on his side. But it seems there is dissent within the military's ranks. Now, whether or not the government will be able to overcome this, it is still too early to say. Zayna, do stay with us. I know you're trying to... Uh, oh, in fact, we are going to stay with you at the moment. I mean, as you say, Turkey has gone through 
a lot in the last year, 18 months or so. Is it possible to determine why a coup might be happening right now? Well, the AK party does enjoy popularity in Turkey. There is no doubt. They do have supporters, but they also have a lot of critics and opponents. And the president has been criticized by the opposition for what they call his authoritarian practices. They feel that he has been abusing power. Um, he has been um, basically accusing him of, of being an authoritarian. And um, he has managed Erdogan and the AK party to pacify the army for, for some years now by replacing a few generals. He's also been accused of, of silencing the media of, of uh, you know, just a, a month ago or less than a month ago. Uh, he took, um, he lifted immunity of parliamentary deputies and this came under a lot of criticism. Now, what would the reaction of, of the international community be, for example? Because in one way or the other, the West has criticized some of these practices. Um, where would they stand if indeed this military coup succeeds? So at the moment, the Turkish prime minister putting on a very brave face live on television saying that those behind this will pay the heaviest price. Does the government have enough support in the military to overcome this attempt by some generals to stage a coup or not?